Hello everyone, today I won't be analyzing on my phone because as you can see like something's wrong with the screen today with my phone so I won't be analyzing on this I'll be analyzing on my computer obviously I will be pausing it and seeing like the punches and everything but you won't be able to see my screen at all so yeah I guess let's get right into it Today, yeah, did I say we're gonna analyze Ashi Roxu and King Kenny? I think I did. Um, I think I did say that already. So yeah, let me just load up the footage. Let's do this. Okay. Okay, there we go. Let's go. I thought for this fight, honestly, King Kenny was gonna win, but Ashi Roxu looked dead shot in this footage. So. I think this is uh, no harder than face sensei and face tempa, but it's okay. It's still a hard fight, but it's not like dead hard. Let's see this time if King Kenny got robbed. Okay, King Kenny very good using that stance, moving his hand, faking, trying to change levels a little bit, be unpredictable. He's doing good. Ashi Roxu, a little bit movie star, hand up here, extending that jab, moving up side to side, which is good. Both look very good, both stances look very good. <coughs> but Kenny looks better. More open, more relaxed. Hand up here, hand down here. He can move quick, he can slip out, you know? Kenny looks more sharp. <coughs> Maroxu, he has his hands up here. Very shit stance, shouldn't do that. King Kenny can come on the side, knock it, knock that hand onto his skull, which I hope he knows that he can do. King Kenny also very, oh, very technical technique, keeping his hand out, trying to wait for that shot, trying to get that jab in. And Ashley Rock Su, very good stance. Arm up here, hand down here, so he can dodge this way, dodge this way, or he can rotate with his shoulder and dodge the shot. Well, they're keeping their hands down while moving back. Looks good. Looks shot. Looking dead shot. Kenny should be pushing more. Instead, Roxu's the one that's pushing forward. They are both the same, the same height almost. Oh, that was a chance for King Kenny to come forward. Ashi Roxu was open there. <coughs> he went, <coughs> went for a big shot. King Kenny could have quickly countered there. But instead he put his hand down, panicked. Again, another shot. <coughs> King Kenny could have had. And now again, Ashi Roxu extends his hands out. While well, King Kenny, the only problem with King Kenny's stance is well, his hands all the way down here and his hands here. He's dead open. Roxu's more compact, so it's more likely, unlikely for him to get hit. I think he got hit right there. No, or he almost got hit. King Kenny trying to like fake a little bit. Body shot to Roxu. Roxu looks a little bit panicked, you know? He has a good technique. He's pushing backwards, keeping his hands up, pushing backwards at the same time, you know? He's looking good. That was good from uh, King Kenny hitting on the side of the guard. Very good technique. To drop his hands. Body shot. Could have followed up with a right hand. King Kenny didn't follow up with a right hand. He went for the body shot. Ash Roxy dropped his hands out. He could have followed up with a right hand there. <coughs> Roxy looking sharp. King Kenny. Extending that jet, extending that arm, very good to plan it, you know? Changing levels, very good, faking a lot. Maroxu's dodging, he's slipping, and he's going for those body shots and everything, bro. Nice jab, double jab from King Kenny. King Kenny is, I think he's very confident in this fight. He's just very confident, slipped right there, which is good.
King Kenny dodging a lot, he's laughing as well. Keeping that, extending that arm out. Rock suit. Uh, faking that. King Kenny changing levels. Rock suit stepping backwards. King Kenny extending that arm out again. Very good. Both men are very sharp. But King Kenny is better, bro. King Kenny is much better. Oh! Oh, Rock suit's quick! Dodge a jab. Double boy shot. Bang! Bang! Right there. Oh! Rock suit quick! Now King K is like, shit, I need to try. Rock suit looks like a very good stance though. But King Kenny is like very open. He's getting hit everywhere. But Rock suit. Rock suit looks more sharp. He looks more sharp, more compact. King Kenny looks too open, too relaxed, which is good, but he's not compact. Rock Sue is still compact, but he's loose. Okay, that was good. Rock Sue went for the jab. He moved backwards with his arms up. That's good technique from King Kenny. Again, Rock Sue very compact. King Kenny very open. He should be faking a lot. He he kept his hand up down there, moving back. When he was moving back, he could have come up with a right and rocked Rock Sue. Rock Sue could have stepped backwards and he could have. Uh, uh, Rock Sue could have been in big trouble. But King Kenny just went like. He could have done like that, but he just kept his arm out. Stepped backwards. He should be. He should attack more. Rock Sue's doing more of the attacking. Fake to the body. Do more fakes. Use more technique. Fake, yeah, fake like that. Move backwards. Use your glove. Touch your glove. Kenny has his hand up here. He can use the glove to touch it down and punch him back. Again, good to good. He's moving back. Good. Roxu came with a right. He moved back, blocked the right, which is good. But Roxu's the one that's hitting big shots. Which would be bad for his uh, stamina. Very bad for his stamina. Oh! Oh! King Kenny's insane! Oh! Oh my god! He's insane! Bro! King Kenny's actually good! <coughs> he should have stayed more vigilant though. Came up with a right. Roxy's kept him in the corner. He's trying to move out, obviously, and then changes, and boom, dodges that jab, turns his back, and helps out the way, gets out of the way. Oh my days, now he's stuck in the corner. Now, now King Kenny's stuck in the corner, good. King Kenny got out of there, punched, punched away and got out of there, which is good. I think Roxu hit him for a jab right there. I think again. King Kenny looking very composed though. He's looking very composed. He's he's trying to do loads of techniques, trying to fake. Roxu looks tired. He's keeping his arm here. He's keeping his hand down here. Good defense, but he's looking tired. He's trying to conserve that energy. Again, Roxu leaped so much. Roxu leaped so much. King Kenny could have come up with a jab. He jabbed so outwards. King Kenny could have slipped, slipped uppercut, or slipped jab. Instead, he moved backwards. I would have been very unpredictable if I was King Kenny. Very unpredictable. Look at that. He's moving as well, jabbing, you know? So far, King Kenny didn't do that bad, but I give the round to Rock Sue because. Roxu got more punches in this round. So first round I give to Roxu. I don't know what King Kenny's doing. King Kenny is like way better than this bro. He's way better than this. King Kenny should attack this round. He needs to attack. I don't know what Dady said, but he needs to attack more. King Kenny needs to push more. It's four rounds. Okay, 
Okay, King Kenny looking good. He's showing more fakes, more technique. You know, Roxu on the move still. But he looks tired. Roxu doesn't look energized. He looks very tired. He's fit. He's fit. He's moving a lot. But King Kenny's trying to fake a lot. He's got more uh, technique going up, going for the body. Come up the top, bro. Come up the top. He went for the body. He could have followed up on the top, but instead went backwards for Roxu. Roxu extends a lot. When he tries to punch King Kenny, he extends his arms out a lot. So King Kenny has an actual chance to hit him. Even King Kenny's like that moving backwards. He could have punched Bang on the jaw again. Again, good. He's trying to break that guard punch on the side, you know. Oh, that, that was good. That was good. That was good. But didn't hit him there. Roxu dodged it. But that was good from King Kenny. Oof. Put the jab there. Follow up. Good. Good, very good from King Kenny. <coughs> but Rock Sue just extends so much. Very good from King Kenny trying to break that guard. And when he breaks that guard, bang, tries to follow up. But again, Rock Sue could have come back. But good. King Kenny came back to a stance. Kenny can go for an uppercut right now. He can do that technique. Where you go aim for the body, but you do an uppercut instead. He could hit an uppercut right now <laughs> and win this fight. Like knock him out dead easy. I King Kenny has a lot of potential. It's just that in this fight, he didn't do that much in this fight. Roxu's attacking more, he's pressuring more. King Kenny's just staying back. He needs to push more. King Kenny should attack more. Instead of pushing back. You know? Again, good defense from King Kenny. Push back, push back, push back. King, King Kenny's not realizing this. I don't know why the fuck he's not seeing this. Actually, Roxu extends his arms out so much. Counter, counter when he extends. When you do this, when you move backwards, counter with a jab. When you move backwards, counter with an uppercut. When you move backwards, counter with a hook. Counter with something, man. He could get something and encounter Roxu. But he's not doing that. Good stance. Arm right here. Arm down here to block. Very good stance. He's got the forward stance. Very good stance. He's got the forward stance now. Faking a lot. Trying to move. Move stance. Move stances, you know. I would play with, around with Ashley Rock Sue at this point. I would play around with him in the first few rounds. And then I would uh, find his weakness and open him up. But King Kenny is just dodging. That's the only thing he's doing good right now. He's using his hand movement. But he's not attacking. Attack! He's on the ropes! Fucking attack him, mate! Attack him! He's in the corner! Cut him off on the corner! He's making it easy for Rock Sue. This guy extends so much. Rock Sue extends so much. He could punch him so much right now, but he's giving Rock Sue everything. Good block from Rock Sue. Very good block again from Rock Sue. Pulling the, the punch down. <clears throat> Break the guard, King Kenny. Break the fucking guard, mate. Another dodge. Very good. See, King Kenny's really good at defense. But, like, he's not doing good at punching. Yeah, use your technique more. Use your technique more. He just opened there. That's what I'm saying. No, just short a second. Short a second, he's open. He had a hook. Ashley Rock Sue was going for a hook. Go for a power shot. That single second when he's open, he could quickly go back, come back with a shot. Quick, he could punch him right now. King Kenny could have come up with another shot right now. So many advantages to fucking punch his face in. But King Kenny's not doing that. He's not, he's not punching. <clears throat> So many open opportunities. 
That's good. He's just going for the body. He's attacking. He's only attacking Rock 2 when he's in this defense state. When Rock 2's pushing, he doesn't counter him. He needs to learn how to counter punch. I don't even know if he knows how to fucking do that. Again, Rock 2's trying to go for like big shots. King Kenny could like literally. King Kenny could literally just fucking counter him, bro. Anytime. You need to counter him when he's pushing you. If I was daily, in that corner right now, if I was daily, Roxy's pushing you, I would say, Roxy's fucking pushing you, mate. He's fucking go all out ham. When you get the chance, fucking counter him while he's coming forward and punching like a maniac. Counter him. Counter Roxy. I give the second round to King Kenny because King Kenny was showing a lot of defense there. And Roxy didn't hit him at all, so... I get the second round to King Kenny. First round round two, second round King Kenny. Anytime Rock Su is punching like crazy, fucking counter him, counter punch him, counter punch him there, double jab. He was open, he went double jab, come up with a right, you know? Extend your arm, push forward and then push back, just like Tommy Fury did against Jake. Push forward, push back. Again, another opportunity for King Kenny to come up with a big shot. <clears throat> Again, a big opportunity for King Kenny to, to come up with a big shot. Again. Another opportunity, another opportunity for King Kenny to come up with a big shot. Another shot, another chance. Roxu just extends out so much when he does a power shot in this fight. He extends out so much. When he extends out so much, he has a, King Kenny has a few seconds to just come up with a counter. Good job to the body. Again, Rock Sue, when he's doing like that, like that, he's just extending out. Fucking counter him, mate. So many counter shots King Kenny should have done in this fight. He needs to learn how to, he needs to learn how if somebody's attacking you, they punch, right? Or they try to extend out, they try to extend outwards to quickly counter. He needs to learn how to quickly counter those shots. <laughs> Okay, dodges that. <clears throat> Again, when he's, bro, when he's jabbing, man. See, quick shot right there. He went like this, he went like this. King Kenny could have moved. So when he punched like that, he could have oppositely moved. Come up with a counter. You know, it's like, it's like so many chances to counter Rock Sue because Rock Sue just opens so much when he punch, he extends too much. Again, uppercut right there. King Kenny tried to do the uppercut, but he dodged it. That was good, but he could have done it faster. Oh, I've got a fucking hand now. But I'm saying, man, King Kenny could have won this fight dead easily. Counters, man, counters. So many counter shots. Again, he's reckless. He's going like that, bro. He's going like that. Quickly counter him when you have the chance. King Kenny, quickly counter him. No wonder why King Kenny lost because Roxu ju is just attacking so much. He's putting the pressure on King Kenny. Body shot right there. <clears throat> Need to counter him dead quick, bro. He's not countering him. When Roxu's hitting those power shots, King Kenny is not countering him at all. You know, it's just it's just stupid. It's just stupid things, man. Stupid mistakes. Again, another leap. Man went like this. He leaped out like that. If it was me, if he leaped out like that, I would have quickly came forward, uppercut. If he leaped out like that, I would have came forward and quickly 
did a little uppercut and moved back, just like Tommy Fury did to Jake. Jake was pushing forward and extending out too much. Tommy quickly went in and went out, punched quick, quick combination, out, quick combination, out, quick combination, out. This is what King Kenny had to do and he needs to learn that skill. It's a very, very good skill. <laughs> and if he did, if he learned how to do that, in this Ashley Rock Sue fight, he would have won this fight. <clears throat> Break the guard, break the guard, break the guard. Get forward, get closer. Break the guard, break the guard. Oh my fucking god, can you, you son of a bitch, you extended too much. Now he extended too much. Motherfucker. Now third round to Rock Sue here, mate. Third round to Rock Sue. Third round to Rock Sue. So they're basically, Rock Sue's in the lead. I have Rock Sue in the lead. First round, Rock Sue. Second round, King Kenny. Third round, Rock Sue. Now, if King Kenny wins this round, they tie. But if Rock Sue, Rock Sue probably wins this last round, then. He has him in the corner, go for a body shot and then go for a head shot. I would have I would have approached there first. He was in the corner. Actually, if I was if somebody's in the corner, right? And they're trying to they're they're gonna box you, right? If they were in the corner, I would have initiated first. I wouldn't be scared. I would initiate first. I would take that risk. In boxing, you have to take that risk. You have to take the risk in boxing. So if that was me, I would have first I would have first went for the punches. I would have probably gone a few combinations in there and made him weak and I would have knocked him out. I would be the one to initiate the punches. You have to take that risk sometimes. And King Kenny in this fight didn't take any risk. That's why he lost the fight. Ashley Baksu was the one that was taking more risk and he's leaping more forward. But King Kenny could have counterpunched so many times, but he didn't counterpunch for shit. Again, another counterpunch. Ashi Rock Su just extends too much. He could have just counterpunched, counterpunched. Could go forward. Attack. King Kenny, attack more. Attack more. Pressure him more. He's more skilled like that. King Kenny is more skilled like that. He needs to attack Rock Sue more. He's more skilled like that. But he's not doing shit. Very good movement. Okay, went too low for the shot. Again, man, Rock Sue is pressuring him more, man. Uppercut, push forward, push more forward. King Kenny is never taking risk. Never taking any risk in this fight. Ashley Rock Sue's taking more risk. Okay, okay, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely Ashley Rock Sue wins this round. He just he probably got a lot of points there. King Kenny's not taking any risk. He's just trying to fake him, bro. No wonder why King Kenny lost. No risk. I don't think he got robbed. Again, another risk that Ashley Rock Sue taught, got. Bloody threw an overhand, but King Kenny could have countered that. You know, so many chances to counter, but King Kenny just didn't. This is not going to go quick. See, again, another overhand, another extend, another extend. King Kenny should have come up with a counter again. Yeah, oh my days, oh my days. Yeah, defo, yeah, yeah, yeah. Roxu's pushing more, he's taking more risk. King Kenny's not taking any risk. Look, 
not taking any risks, just running away. He's just defending. He should have taken more risk. If I was his coach, I would have said take more risk, man. Push more. Fight more. If I was his coach, I would say that. Attack more. Take risk, King Kenny. Take more risk, mate. And counter punch. Every time Rock Suit stands, counter punch. If I was daily, I would have said that to him. <laughs> Roxy fucking taunting him, mate. Oh my god. Roxy's just dancing, bro. Yeah, Roxy definitely won this fight. Definitely. I give him the I give the last round to Roxy. I give the last round to Roxy. No wonder why he won. He took more risk. Or did he win? I'm gonna check. Did he actually win though? Let's see. Who won? Let's see who won. Is it a draw? <laughs> They're talking a lot, bro. They're talking a lot, bro. I think they just want to have fun in there. Honestly, it's like an exhibition. I think they want to have fun there. King Kenny looks confused. I, I can't hear the scorecard right now, but... Let me, let me just turn on my speaker just to hear the scorecard. But I think, I think Rock Su would win this fight. I think Rock Su won this fight. Let's hear the scorecards. Let's see. I like I like the I like the sportsmanship man I like the sportsmanship <laughs> Let's hit the scorecard Third and Yeah third and for this I had actually wrong suit for first round I had him for the first round King Kenny. Yeah, I had him for the second round. I had King Kenny for the second round. I had, yeah, I had Roxu for the last one. Roxu. Yeah, I had Roxu winning. I had Roxu winning 100%. I had Roxu winning that fight. He just, he just took more risk. King Kenny didn't throw any shots. He was just being more defensive. And in boxing, defensive, being more defensive isn't the answer. You can't be more defensive. You can't just be dodging every time. You can't be doing that. Because in a fight, you're not going to win if you just keep on defending. Like, keep on moving and slipping and defending, you know. It doesn't show any skill. You get more points from punching the opponent's head in. But yeah, I had Roxu winning that fight. Thank you all for watching. If you're new, please subscribe. I would appreciate it so much. And yeah, that's it. Thank you all for watching. I'm out. Peace.